Hi and welcome to the Echo Tools workshop. Today we're going to check if it's the high torque or not the high torque. So the only obvious difference you can see outside is the orange black shield that has a little bit bigger diameter and also the indication of high torque while the standard mostly has a full black one or a complete orange uh, shield. If you look to the cutting swat or the cutting diameter from the high torque and we take from the center, center to the cutoff knife we have about 26 26 and a half centimeters multiply by two if you look to a standard one a non-high torque you have about 22 and a half so here you see on the upper side a standard gear case that you can find on standard trimmers and also many other brands and on the bottom side you can find the high torque gear case configuration now before you go to buy a trimmer or a brush cutter you need to ask yourself what is the daily application or the daily work i need to do with it when it's just trimming after lawn mowing or mowing the lawn it can be enough with just a standard gear case because you get light work low grass not so dense grass so you can do the work perfectly with the standard gear case but when you have to do it also or use your product also for trimming and brush cutting thick heavy coarse grass uh, bad wheat it's maybe better to buy one with the high torque gear case now the difference in construction is purely in this secondary gear wheel so we have the motor rpm that comes into the gear case but here we have a smaller diameter than on the high torque one the higher high torque has a increased diameter of the secondary gear wheel that means that the cutting speed is a little bit higher on this one but when you get heavy load on your uh, trimmer head it will drop the rpms significantly so instead of cutting the grass you will push the grass flat while trimming you don't need uh, such a heavy load or you don't have such a heavy load that you can just continue the work well with a high torque by increasing the diameter we are decreasing the cutting speed on the trimmer head but we increase significantly the torque so even with increased diameter of trimmer line we extend also the diameter with almost five centimeters plus in the cutting swath um, we can cut much more efficient because due to this reduction of the speed we increase the torque what keeps up the rpms of the engine so instead of pushing the grass flat even with heavy load on the trimmer head we continue cutting the grass instead of pushing it flat so that's mainly the difference between um, the standard and the high torque also if you look a 25 cc brush cutter in combination with um, a high torque gear case you can compare with the engine displacement that is with the standard one 5 to 10 cc higher so 25 cc with the high torque gear case if you want to compare this into a standard one you will have to add 5 to 10 cc to get the same performance or um, cutting efficiency so now you see the layout here with the input from so-called motor we replace the petrol engine by a dc motor um, the shaft comes in it will drive so we have a dot on the axles but also keep an eye on the white lines on the trimmer heads so this one goes a little bit faster than this one but this one has significantly higher torque so with increased diameter of the trimmer line with extended swat of the cutting diameter but also with the high load we get uh, during brush cutting we can keep up the performance of the engine and we will keep cutting the grass instead of pushing it flat so let's go outside and compare a standard gear case versus a high torque gear case with 
increased trimmer line diameters but also with creating heavy load on the trimmer head and let's see what the uh, how the engine is reacting to that <laughs> 